Hi everyone, this is Johnny O'Nose, and I'm playing Pulsar Lost Colony. And in this Let's Learn episode, I'm going to show you the interior of the stealth ship, the Stargazer. If you pick the Stargazer, you'll be part of the neutral AOG faction. Right off the bat, you can see that uh, it has negative 50% EM signature, which means that you're getting an additional, you know, 50% more kind of stealth ability. So it'll make it 50% harder for everyone to see you or to uh, for them for their sensors to track you. The uh, the stats on this ship you have to be very careful with. The shields and hull are a little bit on the low side. Not as low as say the carrier, but the stargazer is pretty low in starting stats. So this is not a ship that you're going to be wanting to run and gun with right off the bat. I mean it is a stealth ship so you want to try to kind of take more of a stealthy approach to things rather than just open fire right when you see somebody. It has reversible main thrusters and has an extractor. Let's go ahead and jump inside the ship. The bridge is very much like the WD Cruiser that we just took, took a look at. Um, on the left hand side you have the captain's chair. It also has kind of the same deal with the communications window. Oh, it looks like there's no one to talk to. Communications window is very tiny and it appears right here. So if anyone else wants to be able to look at what's going on with the captain, they kind of have to like awkwardly stand right behind the captain's chair like this. There is no damage display for the captain near his chair. So you're really going to have to look over in this area. Like for some reason it doesn't actually show you. Oh, there it is. If you get close enough, it will update so this is your kind of closest damage screen if you're sitting in the captain's chair during combat the helm is right at the front as you'd expect and there's a little bit of cargo here in the front too i think this is the only ship with cargo slots inside the bridge you've got your engineering station right here and it's really nice has all four screens but once again i suggest the engineer should be in the engineering in, in the engineering room instead of up in the bridge because you don't have the ability to pump fuel to science. And just like the WD Cruiser, all of the science station screens are right here. No need to turn around or anything like that. You have virus, computer, sensors, and comms. You also have like a little da damage monitor here. So in this ship, it may be best for the science officer to be the one calling out whether or not something's on fire or something's damaged. You have your weapon uh, station here, which does very little. <laughs> and this is where things get really complicated. Most ships have like a kind of a central spine, which allows you to run back and forth between bridge and engineering. In the Stargazer, you kind of have two floors. The top floor, and it's very dark in here too, so I'm going to turn the light on. Got random cargo space right here you got a little table so this is kind of like the top floor keep on going you got a little lounge you got a bar and randomly there is a weapon turret right here so i think this is your first let's see this is the laser turret yeah this is gonna be the first slot on your weapons so you got a little laser turret here and behind here is the captain's quarters along with the captain's locker. So if you are all trying to figure out where uh, the captain's locker is at, this is where it's at. You just kind of head left if you're facing away from the front of the ship in the bridge. So there really isn't much to the left as you're leaving the bridge. There's nothing to the left that you really need unless you're trying to jump on that first turret or you're trying to get to the captain's locker. All right, moving on down here. So as you can see, as you walk down, there are now three paths you can take. We're going to take this one here. This one goes to the front of the ship where you'll be able to find your exosuits. There is also a hidden compartment here if you walk through this wall, which allows you to hide, looks like just two pieces of cargo. No, nope, four pieces of cargo. Um... Uh, uh, you can hide your cargo if you've got contraband and you're having to be scanned. So just head through that wall. And that is all that is in the front bottom floor, or bottom deck of the ship. Let's head back to that kind of junction area. So here's the bridge. And going 
this way will bring you into the teleporter room as well as the engineering section. There's also weapons here as well. So right from this junction, if you kind of do kind of like a zigzag from the bridge to the left, you're hitting a lot of different rooms at once. So here's the weapons area along with the weapon station if you needed to repair it. And you've got the teleporter. The research window is here too. So like this is this is pretty much a ship that has been refurbished to to accommodate the needs of the crew. So everything is kind of fit where it needs to be. As you can see the main the main gun is kind of burrowed into the wall here. So this is where the main gun is at, as well as the weapons. So moving towards the back, towards the engineering room, the engineering station is right behind the reactor. I think it's, let's go around this side. Yep, there it is. And um, just like the, uh, just like the Intrepid, the important screens for the, um, for the engineer are kind of split. So if you wanted to, you could, you could actually stand facing the core or facing the reactor to be able to click on all the buttons as an engineer. This is where you would stand. And you'd have actually easier access to the shields from here. All right, so this is the very far back part of the ship. The atrium is in a very interesting spot and there are three doors here as well. So let's go and go back to this junction real quick and go to this spot. So we've just left the bridge and instead of zigzagging to the left, we're gonna zigzag to the right. And uh, this also brings you into the the captain's area. So it's the same, the same if you were to go this way, and it's the same as if you were to go this way. <laughs> so you can see how confusing this ship's layout is. I think it's purposely trying to be confusing to you because everything's ob obfuscated and trying to remove uh, the ability or, or decrease the ability for people to be able to find things in the ship. All right, so now the, the, the next junction of three is we're gonna be facing towards the bridge near the teleporter. The room on your right here is going to be another access point to where uh, the, you know, the exosuits are at. It also has life support right here. So if you guys are ready to go on adventure and the planet has got some you know, acid or no, no, uh, no oxygen. Just face the teleporter, head to the right, and you'll be able to see the exosuits. And if you need to repair life support, it's right here. The helium atrium is also hidden. So if you're looking at this junction, you just run through this door, and the atrium, uh, the healing area is just right here. And it's very weird kind of back room. Going through this door, so this is the left-hand door of the this second junction here. You uh, head through here, and this is where Science Lab is. You can go ahead and repair it here. Moving further back brings you into the kitchen area again with the hidden wall. So let's head on back to that junction, and I think that's it. And we got the weapons station, we got the engineering station. The life support is right over here, and or science is right over. Oh, sorry, science is on the forward left hand side of the ship, and then you have the life support on the forward right hand side of the ship. So, this is actually a nice ship to repair, like everything to repair is right here and easily accessible by the engineer. So, he's sitting there, repairs the engine spot, he can easily run in here to go to the weapon spot over here for the life support and across the way to science lab so this is actually now that i now that i have spent more time trying to figure out where things are this is a very nice ship to keep things nice and repaired all right i think that is all about the stargazer so this is johnny onos playing pulsar lost colony if you have any questions about the game please go ahead and leave your questions in the comments below all right thanks